So I've made my way up to Niagara Falls. Paul, the manager of a brand new concert venue, contacted me a while back about some problems they're having with vibrations from their brand new sound system. So let's go visit Paul and see if we can come up with a good solution for their vibration problems. Paul, you called me or sent me a message uh, on a couple occasions. We're here in this beautiful new theater. Uh, why'd you call me? Well, we've got, uh, they just installed some additional subs in our PA. And ever since they installed them, the two VOM cams are unusable. So we're attempting to kind of isolate them and get them out of trouble from, you know, the vibrations that are coming out the room. Well, we certainly want to be able to use the cameras. So mm -hmm. uh, let's throw a couple isolators on these things and see what happens. Very good. Very good. Okay, so this is the first test that we've set up. Uh, here we have the camera that's having an issue that's uh, installed on some two inch pipes. There is an isolator on it, but it's not working uh, sufficiently uh, for a uh, usable product. Here uh, to test uh, comparison, we've set up another camera just like it uh, on the concrete next to it. Uh, so, and laser on the left is attached to the pipe, laser on the right is attached, is uh, sitting on concrete. So let's see how that does. direction here I'm pretty optimistic that this is gonna revive those cameras because I can see it and, uh, just get a support so you know it's not falling that's about it That's the first one off the truck. What do you think? I think it looks great. I think you saved the cameras. So, no, I think <laughs> it looks uh, fantastic. Let's play a couple more tracks and see how it does with some other frequencies. And uh, yeah, we'll do some sweeps and stuff. Yeah. But uh, that's uh, that's that's pretty impressive, I think. <laughs> yeah. No, that that just that's done. Like you know, if we improve it from this, but that's that puts me back in the game. I was out of the game. I couldn't use the bomb cams at all. So, what I'd like to look at is right now we're comparing uh, a camera that's already isolated to a camera with a rig wheels isolator. Uh, what I'd like to look at is our newly uh, isolated camera against a camera that's not isolated. Which is what I arrived to when we got this theater. It was a clamp straight to that pipe. Yep. So since we're working with uh, cameras and fixed installations now, 
we can keep these isolators super soft because we're not on a car. We don't have to worry about them uh, uh, being a shock absorber. All we're doing here is isolating vibration so we can keep these nice and soft. Because the rig wheels isolator with the cabling is so loose, what we're testing here is to see if there's any rebound when the camera pans from one position to another to make sure it's not swaying when it lands at its position. Go ahead, hit it. It's rock solid. And back again. We budgeted two days to figure this thing out. And what time is it now? Uh, it's been two hours. There you go. Uh, and, and it's resolved to a level that we are thrilled with. I, personally, uh, I'm, it's exceeded my expectations, especially at this, the, that's the worst case isolator that I brought. Like I could have gone two more levels uh, for more isolation if it was needed, but this was the most convenient to install uh, in this scenario. So yeah, this has exceeded my expectations and then uh, maybe yours. <laughs> Absolutely. We're, uh, you know, we're in a position now that we're going to return both cameras to the bombs uh, and they're now usable. In fact, they're beyond what they were because we're fully extended on that lens and that shot looks usable on the test pattern, which says to me, if I want to get in on a keyboard player or a drummer or whatever I need to get tight on, I can now use the entire length of the lens, whereas before we still wouldn't even use the whole lens with my isolator on there. So right. we're, we're, we're way ahead of the game at this point. Well, thanks for uh, contacting me, Paul. Uh, I have been wanting to do a real world uh, install case study about these isolators for a while. And I think this proves uh, how effective they are. Much appreciated that you're willing to even come here and do this. And, uh, and management's gonna be <laughs> rocking on this one because we, we knew we we're, we're scuppered. Well, that's a good thing. I said, I said the word scuppered. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. No problem. Brian. Hang on a second, Brian. <laughs> what, what did you just say? I said they're sexy looking. <laughs> they are. This will fix your problems. <laughs>